we talk about your life and your money on the Dave Ramsey Show this afternoon at 1 on 960 KNEB. Well, time now for News Extra, and I'm Dennis Ernest in for Kevin Moody, who is on assignment at this hour. We welcome to our program a couple of uh, ladies from the Scottsbluff uh, Lead Public Library, Deb Carlson and Director Abby Yellman are with us this morning. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Hello there. Time to go to the library, huh? Right. All right. Well, let's start out with uh, Abby. Tell us about Food for Fines. What's that, what's that program? About? Sure. We basically every um, year have done Food for Fines. We start at December 1st and we'll run it through December 30th where any non-perishable food item donation we forgive fines for our library customers. So if you've got a nagging dollar or two on your account, come on in and bring us a couple of non-perishable items. We'll forgive those for you. And, and bring back the book or whatever you want. And the book, <laughs> yes. The book would be good. It's that important. Would be good, too. <laughs> okay. So uh, what are we going to do with the um, food uh, that you collected at the library? You know, that's a great question. People have been asking us where we're going to take it. We honestly haven't decided, but we're thinking we're going to divvy it up between different food pantries, maybe Dove's. Capwin has always been a great partner for us, so we're going to try to spread it out this year to help multiple food pantries. Okay. And how long does this program run then? It will run through December 30th. Um, one of the cool things we're doing in between is from December 7th through December 19th, um, anybody that comes in the library in those two weeks will get entered into a drawing GameStop. Um, the new location, Scott's Bluff, partnered with us to give away a gaming system. So if you come in, you get to enter, but if you bring non-perishable items, you can get up to 10 extra entries per day for two weeks. So if you really want that Xbox One system bundle or if you want that PlayStation 4 bundle, come on in and bring some non-perishable items, help the community, and you might win. Okay, so let's clear up our overdue fines and help some folks out and maybe win a pretty cool deal. Yes. Yeah. All right, very good. Now, uh, Abby, while I have you, you have a program coming up on uh, Monday where we're talking about some of this electronic stuff. Uh, Overdrive, what's that about? You know, Overdrive is our database that basically is free to anybody that has a library card where you can download um, free ebooks or downloadable audio onto your devices, whether it's Kindle, iPad, your iPhone, whatever you'd like to use. So at um, 5.30 on Monday night, on Monday the 7th, um, Jana Keene, who works for us, does a great job with helping people connect and learn how to do that and she will basically troubleshoot and help you learn how to maximize that database. And forgive me for not knowing even though I have a Kindle, um, I can download books from the library at home then? Yes, it's remote. You can definitely do it from home, just need that library card. We also just added Zinio, which is a new database that you can also download digital magazines for free now. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with your electronic devices with um, the library for free. So if you need to know more about that, obviously we're there to help. Well, a lot of people uh, have gotten these electronic devices or will again this Christmas season. and. Sometimes we get them and go, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, now, you use now what do I do with this? Yeah. I know it can do all these cool things, because I see other people do it. Um, so that's a great program, and uh, great to know we can get some help with that. So Monday evening, 5.30 yes. uh, at the library. Yep. All right, well, we're going to come back and, and party like it's 2015. There you go. This is Steph Black with United Way of Western Nebraska. I invite you to enjoy Nachos Navidad at Taco John's for two very good reasons. First, Taco John's makes a donation to United Way every time you order Nachos Navidad. Second, they taste really good. It's good food for a great cause. Seven fifty-five at KNEB as we continue on News Extra. Abby Elman, director of uh, Leeds Scotts Bluff Public Library, with us, and uh, Deb Carlson is the children's librarian, and she's going to tell us about the upcoming annual Christmas party. What's going on, Deb? Well, this year for the kids and their families, we've got Gingerbread Man loose at the library, mm. and it's going to be this coming Thursday night, the tenth at six fifteen. Uh, we'll gather in the meeting room to start with a gingerbread man uh, story time and then go on to do a find the ginger. We're telling them we're going to run, run as fast as they can to find the gingerbread man. I want them to get to go on a hunt around the library. They'll be making a craft. Of course, we're going to have 
gingerbread cookies. We're just going to have a great time, and a guest is coming. Oh. You can kind of guess who that might be, ho, ho, ho. Okay. <laughs> Well, we will look forward to that, kids of all ages, right? That's right, that's right. Um, and also, something that we're really excited about is we've got a special gift for um, the children, and I'm going to let Abby tell you who's sponsoring that. Each child is going to get a copy of the book, The Gingerbread Man, Loose at Christmas. It was released in October, a brand new book, and uh, we're just thrilled that each child's going to get to take that home with them, and we've got some sponsors for that. Yeah, we had uh, some great help from Rotary Club of Scottsbluff Gary, Scottsbluff Noon Kiwanis. They basically came through and made this possible that we could purchase the books to give away to every kid that evening. So we really want to thank them, also the Library Foundation and our friends of the library. They do a lot to make this event possible because we see a lot of kids and without them we couldn't do it. So we're very thankful for them. That's neat and every kid gets to take home that book, which is what the library is all about. Exactly, yeah. that's right. And uh, this is kind of a fun party because we don't have to read all those books like we do in the summertime. There you go. <laughs> not, that, not that we would discourage that. There you go. But, there you go. But anyway, so, Come on in and celebrate uh, Thursday night, 6.15. Right? right, and no registration fee. They can just show up and no fee to come. It's just good to get people in the library doors. That's, that's right. right, boy. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about. Tell us a little bit about um, children's programs in the winter time. now. Yeah, I know we have a very popular summertime sure. reading program. Tell us about what goes on in the... Right. One thing that we are uh, always looking forward to or having happen is that uh, families who have their children read the 100 best books, uh, it's, it's books that we selected that we think every child should be exposed to, and uh, we kind of turned it into a program, if you will, that if they read or hear all 100, they get a yard sign, Abby puts them on the Facebook page, we make a big deal out of it. And, and they're all working toward that anytime. So that's one thing we enjoy doing in the winter. And then we're also always looking forward to things upcoming. There will be the uh, kindergarten program we do for kindergartners and Read Across America on March 2nd. So believe me, there's always something happening. Story time? <laughs> Yes, yes. Weekly Thursdays in the morning at 10 and the evenings at 6.15. We don't do that in December. We'll kick it off again in January through May. All right, ladies. Uh, we look forward to coming to see you at the library. Great. Thank you, guys. Uh, Abby Yellman and Deb Carlson, our guests today on News Extra. See the Lifestyle Center and then